Welcome back to Skyblock, where today we're actually going to be heading to the nether. Yes, you heard that right. The nether in Skyblock, we're going to be unlocking the nether dimension, getting some exclusive nether spawners, some nether cobblestone generators. Uh, I haven't explored this. I haven't seen this. Uh, we're all going to be seeing it for ourselves very first time. So uh, to unlock the nether, I think it's just slash nether. There is the end dimension. Uh, no, this is it's not open. No one has... 12 billion dollars if someone were to have 12 billion dollars then i guess thing in, in 15 million shards go for it no one has that but it's just 750 shards and 50 levels of xp which we almost have uh so i'm just gonna go to someone else's island real quick all right we're here at someone's island because mine oh okay i'm about to get level 50 in a matter of like two milliseconds here i don't even wonder how many spiders are stacked up here there's probably like 10 000, 30 000 spiders here and wait for it low 50 so i think simple as that we unlocked the nether we have 2.2k shards confirm all right we unlocked the nether so slash nether do we just i haven't locked the nether slash warp nether how do i how do i go to the nether i'll make like a a pretty big portal later yep that's our portal. That's, uh... Hey, listen, it's a portal. It gets the job done, all right? Hey, that was fast. And then iron? There's a block of iron in here. Should be able to transform that. It's weird. Playing Skyblock, you gotta, like, buy and scavenge your way to get everything. But, all right, we're on the way to the nether. Whoa! Okay. Uh, so, yeah, there is a brand new spawner. A gas spawner for two million dollars uh and i want to see how much the gas tiers sell for yeah i definitely want to make this actually look like the nether so let me go do that real quick uh and we'll be back he was mistreating his cat hey that's pretty dope though not the mi not oh not the mistreating his cat part oh no my are gonna see that uh i would like the record to state the fact that his uh team find him for mistreating his cat is what i found awesome about that because mistreating animals is not good animals have rights to okay save all righty well we have uh made a bit of a, a little area over here just to, i wanted to put the bare amount of effort bare minimum effort in and we've also made a little nether tower it serves absolutely no purpose i guess i could actually if i wanted to like i could put a blaze spawner in up here and then make it serve an actual purpose but then it would just be once again for like design and a blaze spawner is seven hundred thousand dollars and i have a hundred and twenty thousand dollars but uh what i want to do next is i want to actually create a nether cobblestone generator yes you heard me right a nether cobblestone generator as you can see to get to level one we have to mine a five thousand uh generated netherrack in order to do that we have to head to the shard shop and buy an infinite nether water bucket a water bucket that never runs out in the nether uh so we only need an extra 500 shards and we also need a bunch of money so we're gonna head back to the island uh which do just slash island like normal uh, we're going to grab our harvester hoe that we bought in the last episode and we are just gonna get to work grabbing some shards and some uh, some money and then it will be back all right well we reached 2,000 shards so we can finally purchase the infinite nether water bucket boom and I did triple check to make sure I wasn't being an idiot yes uh, this is the only water bucket that will work in the nether so we head back to our portal. Let's see, just walk. Do we just walk through? If the, yeah, we just have to, we have to chill in it. All right, and then I guess I will make another little area over here, sort of like another little pathway kind of thing. Just make little little branches of the island. All right, just for reference, we're currently at someone's uh, Nether cobblestone generator, so you guys can get a little reference of what i'm gonna be building in a second i just wanted to like i want to see what everyone else is doing and yeah it's generating so fast to the point where like i can't even mine it all so it's like there's really no need to make something this big but people you just kind of make it this big because you can all right so let's go figure this out this is so weird seeing water in the nether i don't i don't know this is this is weird <laughs> this is really weird having a water a cobblestone or not even a, just a generator generating netherrack in the nether with water 
This doesn't... Doesn't feel right. I'm going to be totally honest. And boom. So the generator aspect is done. Now we need to move on to the redstone of the salt to get the blocks pushed up from the bottom here uh, into the air. And then we have a wall of pistons here that pushes them out. So then I just sit here with my pickaxe and we farm up all of the blocks. All right, now the main platform is done where all the blocks are gonna be pushed up from the pistons. So this is where they're actually generated. As you can see, the pistons are right there. So now we just gotta do the redstone circuitry behind here uh, so that we flick the lever, uh, they get pushed up, then pushed out, and then we can mine it, start generating money because I had to spin. As you can see, we're down. We were up to a million dollars. Now we're down to like 200K. So this is expensive, expensive farm to make. It may not be pretty, but it works. Uh, introducing the nether cobblestone or the nether rack, nether generator. Go back here, flick the lever. I've made this generator multiple times before. Uh, very simple, uh, 15 tick delay, 15 tick repeater delay. Uh, once again, I already showed you the mechanism where uh, generates, gets pushed up and then gets pushed over. So basically just sit here. Uh, we have to mine 5,000 netherrack and then I'm not sure what we unlock, but I think it's either uh, like gold ore or nether quartz, some sort of nether ore that we can actually make money off of. So we spent around eight hundred thousand dollars on this mining rig. So I hope we can make just a little bit of that back. Yo, we got the gin upgrade. All right, let's see what we're going to get. Uh, cost zero dollars. Dope. Are you... Wow, that's so lame. It doesn't even generate me any new ores. Okay, well, now we got to do this again. We got to see this through because we have... I have to keep upgrading this until we actually start making money because now we just make basalt, which is it. We can't even sell that for money. Do we see any basalt? I don't even see any basalt. Is that basalt over there? No, where's the basalt? Don't even see any basalt. What's, I just got scammed. And we finally are able to upgrade our generator. Please, please, please give us something good. Blackstone. Oh, my goodness. That is not what we wanted. I have spent over two hours or what's felt like two hours grinding this out. And we have made no progress. I mean, we've made progress in the fact that we've mined you know, 15,000 blocks and we've still made no money. So I think we'll come back to this another day. Uh, but what we do have now is someone was nice enough to lend me uh, four of the brand new gas spawners because I'm broke. I just spent all my money over there. I'm making no money. And realistically, I wasn't going to spend eight million dollars of my own. So I just wanted to experiment with these, get a taste. Uh, I've heard, I've heard they're pretty, pretty good, pretty interesting, and it's a gas bar. I'm like, what the heck? So we're just gonna plop four of these down, and I guess it's just gonna spawn four gas. Do they shoot? I guess they just, yo, they're just vibing. Did they even move? Can I push them? Okay, so I could push them, but I guess, oh no, this is not. I didn't think that through. This might just, they might just go all over the place, and they sound terrible. And okay, we got one gas tier. That sells for $200. So we made we made some money, but I think at least we should probably like box in this area so they can't just go on like a free roam. Now let's see, now there's eight gas in there. This is work, okay, this works. Strategy works. Where's my gas tier? Does it not even drop? It's not even a guaranteed gas tier drop. And I know they also drop uh, gunpowder normally. Okay, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. And we get one. We get one gas tier. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, that was like 10 gas for $200. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you guys. That's not the greatest investment. I'm glad I am simply borrowing these. And uh, I have not spent my own money on these gas. We'll, we'll give it another spawn. We'll whack a few more gas. See if, see what they've got up their sleeve. Uh, it's so hard to see where the drops even are. I know people have been making like gas farms. Uh, like you can put cactus down and it automatically kills the gas, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it looks like you get a drop once every few gas for 200 bucks. So you're probably better off using one of the other very profitable spawners. 
but still very cool nonetheless. Doesn't sound good though. I'm gonna be very honest. Sounds quite terrible. Oh, got three this time. There we go. So I think I'll probably be spending most of my time in the overworld, but we're definitely going to keep this portal open. We might keep the nether for some more, we'll just say colorful projects since man, it just seems to be an absolute money pit. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.